Okay. So I want to talk about how I see AI evolving service-based businesses, particularly digital-based service businesses, um, and what we are doing in our company to um, adapt to you know this what I think is this new revolution um, in delivery, especially when it comes to you know agencies and other types of digital-based fulfillment. Um, because you know, not long ago, and and still is today. When you would hear the word agency, you'd think, well, those businesses are really hard to scale. And that's partially true because you have, you're playing a talent arbitrage game where every single time you, uh, you know, take on new clients, that usually comes with hiring new people. And so as you double, triple, 10x in size, that usually comes with doubling, tripling, and 10xing uh, the amount of people that you need to fulfill those clients. Um, but recently, we've been able to experiment a lot with using AI as a helper when it comes to delivering, um, you know, in our case, it's been, you know, really around the project management role and how do we eliminate that. But in other, you know, many other businesses that we've worked with, it's been, you know, things like operations and admin stuff that usually you would have to get a human to do, but now you can kind of automate with AI. Um, but one of the kind of the, the main issues I see with AI right now is that, you know, it's this like really talked about thing but businesses don't really know how to go about using it. Um, and I think that's partly true because we are limited by the interfaces themselves. And so when you look at like ChatGPT or Claude or any of these you know, AI tools, you're basically just given a chatbot experience where you can kind of go back and forth. It's pretty generic. Um, but you know, in this, in the, you know, when you're thinking about it in, in a business context, it's pretty hard to think about how do I actually use, you know, that that ChatGPT, you know, intelligence, but not need to go to ChatGPT and copy and paste and bring it back and forth. It, it you know, it doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel like you're at, you can actually scale a business doing that. And so, what we've been able to do is, how do we build interfaces um, that are custom to us and custom to these businesses, um, and use AI as the underlying layer in them, so that you're not needing to go and you know, contextualize every single time. You go into ChatGPT and reprompt engineer it. You can just have a tool that knows exactly the workflows that you need to do for your business, and it will consistently, you know, put out consistent results. So to kind of better explain this, I want to show an example of what we're doing for our company. Hopefully, my audio is still fine. Um, but essentially, what we're doing here is we've taken what we used to do in Notion or, or any project management tool. Um, and all these tools are great, um, but they don't serve for a few reasons. The, the, f the first thing is that um, they're not custom to your business. Yes, Notion has some ability to customize, but ultimately there are nuances that potentially can slow you down or things that may take an extra few clicks that really at scale um, add up to a lot of time being wasted. And then the other thing is they're not really able to utilize AI to its full power because they're going after a total addressable market that is, you know, as big as possible, meaning that they can't build specific AI workflows for you because every business is different. And so the only way to do that and to actually maximize AI is building your own software. Um, really all the notion, some of these tools give you some kind of writing capabilities, but you know, really that's just some stuff you can do in, in chat GPT anyways. And so this is kind of the internal tool that we're building and working on. These are just the designs for them. Um, but you know, from the surface, it may look like your, your normal kind of project management tool, you know, your Kanban boards, all that. But when you kind of look a layer deeper, we start integrating some AI right into the platform, um, that, you know, on the back end, we're actually running these complex kind of AI workflows that are built for our business, that are formatted for our business, um, and things show up right into our, um, board here. So let me kind of explain what we're doing in particular. So. Every time we kick off a new project, we need to do a few things. One, the first thing is we need to kind of generate this scope doc here. And this scope doc kind of gives the overarching context of the project. And then from there, we need to create all a bunch of user stories. And for an app that's, you know, a decent size, we're talking like 20 to 50 pages, that could be hundreds, if not thousands of user stories, because what user stories are, are basically a list of every micro um, action or sequence a user may take. And so, you know, on a big or a medium to big scale, um, that can be quite a, quite a few user stories. And so this usually would take, you know, some kind of project manager 
you know, hours if not days to complete. Uh, and then when we go over to our sprint board here, a sprint board is basically um, telling the team what we need to work on. So, you know, they're broken up in our case in design and development things, and they have priorities and assignees and all that stuff. And again, this can take quite a while. Um, you know, if you're working on a good size app, you're probably looking at hundreds, maybe even thousands of sprint board items um, across design and development. And so what we've done is we've thought, how can we kind of get AI to, to take some of this um, workload off us? So we've done a couple things. The, the, one of the things that you can actually see in these designs, but I'll probably demo once the project is totally wrapped up, is we're able to generate these scope docs and then use them to, to, to contextualize what we want for the user stories. So we give it some input with the scope doc here, and then it will go and generate all the user stories to the formatting that we um, want and basically save us you know, hundreds of hours per project on not needing to go and generate all these user stories. And then on the sprint board, similar kind of thing. It will start generating all the sprint board items as we need them. And here, if we want to add additional sprint board items, we can go ahead and just with a simple prompt, um, you know, we can say, let's say we wanted to build like the Instagram feed, for example. So we can go in and say, hey, we want to build Instagram feed. We want it to have, you know, uh, posts, commenting, sharing, liking, etc. Usually that's like, you know, you need to break that up into like very micro pieces. But now we just type this into AI um, that we built and it will go ahead and generate all these sprint boards right onto the sprint board itself. That way we can edit it and manipulate it if there seems to be um, some changes. And so which is what used to be probably a 10 to, you know, maybe 50 hour um, task is now done in, you know, 30 seconds to a minute using AI. And so that's kind of like one of the main ways that we see AI as a huge kind of arbitrage play um, when it comes to delivery, because you're able to fulfill the same amount of work, um, but just on a much quicker and greater scale because you don't need as many people. Um, and some of the other stuff that we're kind of playing around with is also timeline um, you know, generation. So how can we use AI to strategically timeline things based on who's working on them and you know, the best kind of time based on priorities and all that. And so these are all kind of things that I'll probably show in a later date um, if you know, people are interested. Um, but I more so just wanted to kind of share what we're working on to see maybe if it inspires other you know, agencies or other service-based businesses out there that are thinking about how to use AI but don't really quite understand it and don't really know the true value behind it. This is kind of a sneak peek on like what you can do with it. Um, and in my opinion, it really comes down to building your own internal software that has its own custom interface and AI to power it all. And so if you have any questions, I'll, you know, as always be responsive in the comments. Um, but as this continues to evolve, I'll definitely continue to showcase progress. We've made good progress already, but I want to make sure it's in a tip top shape before we show it to the public. So I hope this was somewhat valuable and I'll see you in the next one.